Time to start handicapping this week, the feature race of the week, the 2015 Peter Pan Stakes from beautiful Belmont Park. Carter is race three, a short five-horse field has entered this grade two event. Let's take a look at some of the top contenders and help you strategize your winning tickets. Leading off out of the one hole, it's going to be Wolfman Rocket. Wolfman Rocket showed speed in his last race, pressed the pace at the second call, and drew off to victory over Hillbilly Royalty in a seven-horse field. Now, that was at Oaklawn Park, and the distance was a flat mile. That was after losing a couple of uh, maiden races out on the West Coast at Santa Anita. Picked up a stakes victory, and he is the only stakes winner in this field. Key note with him is he does have speed and can press. Second horse to take a look at is Made from Lucky. He comes in a little bit overrated and may go off favorite in this race. He did have the Kentucky Derby points to be eligible to run in the Kentucky Derby, but after a subpar workout and not really training forwardly for the mile and a quarter distance, Made from Lucky opted out of the Kentucky Derby for the Peter Pan Stakes. Now, a lot of people are going to look at his last two running lines when he faced American Pharaoh and try to give him a slight class edge. I thought the slop at uh, in the Rebel Stakes kind of carried him on to that second place finish. He did so show some grit, but I'm not sure he has the speed to hang with some of the, the up-and-coming horses like Wolfman Rocket and another horse we'll get to two weeks off. Third horse in the lineup is Conquest Curlinate. Now, his running style is that of a closer. Take a look at these last couple of races. Came from 15 lengths back in the Illinois Derby to lose by a nose. Previous to that, an allowance race kind of ran evenly after making an early move. His maiden win made a solid come-from-behind move, although it was a slow 85 speed figure. Not much pace to run into here with a five-horse field, and his closing running style may hurt him in this race. Two weeks off is definitely a top contender. Horse, as you notice, came in off the layoff from last August, picked up a win at seven furlongs, and wasn't favored in that race. Yaki's Warrior, who had blew away a field down at the fairgrounds, was favored, drew off four wide. That was on a day when the track was favoring kind of wide moves. And the fifth horse in the race is Tiz Shady. His only win was at Parks, a little bit lower level class racing. Did struggle the last two races facing in the Gotham Field and the Wood Memorial. Was really never a factor in the Frosted race. The Gotham race had kind of a quick pace, so it looked like he kind of stayed on. Got the head bob late for second over Classy Class. That's a look at some of the top contenders. I think the main two contenders on the win end are going to be two weeks off and Wolfman Rocket. And the key is, is they both have speed and both have the ability to press. That's a look at your race of the week. Beautiful Belmont Park, the 2015 Peter Pan Stakes.